Hello, my beautiful Leo Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your 2023 annual overview forecast. As we look at the energy of all Leo, sun, moon, and rising, remember, if you'd like to have a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what else we have. We have the Eight of Pentacles, which is abundance coming in through something new. There's maybe a new method you're doing or a new connection of how to do things, right? Getting the, the energy of polishing your skills. And when you do that, you actually create more abundance. Remember, you get a lot more work done when you sharpen your tools. And some of that sharpening means your mind and your, your understanding of how things work. When you can really narrow down the best way to do something and get your understanding at its highest frequency, you can really make a difference financially for yourself. Now, we have the Three of Cups, which is the energy of the Seraphim, and they are pouring a double portion into your cup, which is now in the energy of overflow. So, what a blessed energy this is. We will take that. Thank you, Seraphim. Double, double blessings always welcome. And let's see what else is going on. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Ooh, the Aquarius star card. This is the energy of a yes to your soul's wish. This is a really beautiful energy of alignment, ascension, and being in the place of moving past things that are now in a lower frequency. So you're now up in the high frequency, making headway. So divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So January looks like a new start here. This is the energy of something taking root. You may have already begun it, and now it's going to be in full full blown energy here. So it's very exciting energy. We like January. I'm just going to lay the rest of them out. February, March, and get on up there. Get it up high enough so y'all can see them all. <laughs> April, May. June, July, oh, that's two. I'm going to take the top one. July and August, September, October, November, and December. Get them all kind of scooched around there. And our underlier is the Queen of Rods. So this is having like the Divine Feminine Creative Source Energy showing up in your Leo strength. Uh, being able to really start to execute the plan. I know you guys have a plan because all Leos love to have a list or a plan. You, you like to be organized with how you're going to proceed. So very much in this energy. And there's your Leo fiery start right here so you're feeling like it's taken off literally growing and moving and expanding in all directions so very solid energy as you start with your queen of wands and your wands for january let's see what else we have for the clarifiers we have the three of rods which is letting something from the past or letting something you currently have taken to the point of completion you can't take it any further so now you're ready to start something new and it's not that you're abandoning this. It's It can stand on its own. You've got that taken care of and handled. But now you're ready to add to your repertoire, so to speak. And you're stepping in that new direction. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, spirit guides, 
gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, we've got our clarifier for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. The underlier for the clarifiers is the Empress energy, which goes right along with this queen. So she's the muse. She is the muse of all creation, the goddess energy. And she is the fertility of ideas and new beginnings. So she's here to help you set that in motion with the guidance that you need and the assistance and inspiration you need showing up. So we'll take that very solid. When you see the feminine versus the masculine, the feminine is the fertility and new growth. The masculine is solid foundation and strength that's already there. It's, it's able to sustain now, here's January's energy. We're going to start off with that Ace of Wands and the Archangel Michael. Not a bad combination. Archangel Michael is the energy of assisting you. He's the King of Swords. He's assisting you in moving forward, protecting you and guiding you as you move on this new path. As you move into that new energy, you are being escorted and helped it can also be someone who is an air sign it may be in your sun moon or rising signs or person in your life so aquarius libra and gemini major arcanas are also noted in that energy and then we have february hello change so here's the energy of the death card which is helping you to understand and to receive the purging and clearing of all that no longer serves you letting that go and a fresh clean slate starting so this also may mean you're finally getting yourself into a position where you can let go of the things that have been kind of dragging you down or being a nuisance uh and or just something that's been interfering with your progress the cosmic garbage man is here to take out the trash so out it goes and in with the new then we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is where you're really polishing your skills, still dialing in the, the, the energy of learning and mastering something to the point that you have, there is nothing else that you could possibly know about it because you have, you have done it so many times, you have experimented and done it different ways so many times, you know exactly the formula. And so that formula brings in this abundance right on top of that new beginning. So we love that. It's a very good confirmation for the new set in motion card you have up there. And March. So we have the Scorpio and the Eight of Pentacles for February. March is, oh, hello. You got another Scorpio energy, the death card twice. So this is where you feel like you're stuck though. This is where you're doing all the work and you're learning and so you're kind of busy. You're not really noticing. And then you feel like, okay, I've done everything. I've got all my qualifications. I've, I'm expert at this now. I should be able to move forward, but I don't, I'm not getting any nudges from anywhere. Be still. You're right on the edge of that breakthrough. Your foot is on it. It's just waiting for it to, to, to notice you, right? Or to react to it. That's better than notice. It notices you. You just have to wait. It's just like if you were, um, you know, you know how you get a little ticket when you go somewhere sometimes and they call your number and you win a prize? Well, you can't leave the party if you expect to win the prize. So stay there. Be patient. Don't move. Any second. This is telling you. It's surrounding you. <laughs> the death card energy is that moment where the breakthrough happens, my Leos. And you want to be present to claim that because you've done all the work. And you are more than ready. And, and, and worthy of receiving it so remember that this is as close as you can be to the breakthrough before it actually happens that's march april Ooh, very nice so 
I would consider this breakthrough energy. How about y'all? <laughs> You've got the happily ever after, which is the energy of the Ten of Cups. And this could be uh, a, new, a new place of living, a new abode. Or it could be just everybody finally getting that energy of where you feel like your household is flowing and all the energy is harmonious and everybody's happy. Because you also have the Fool. And the Fool is a new journey beginning leaving the old behind. Now you close the door to this Scorpio death card energy. This is closing the door. This is ending what it was that was closing out and beginning the brand new, fresh, clean start. Okay. This is the way everybody wants a change. The fool is the smooth closure of one way, moving right into the energy of the new way without missing a beat. And I like to say without missing a paycheck. So very solid energy here when the Fool card starts moving forward with this Ten of Cups. Tens are always a great energy because they mean cycle changes happening. So there's the, from your nine to your ten. And from the, the moment of clearing is now done and you're in the energy of the new with that Fool. So that's very solidly uh, linking itself together there. So that's April. Now this is May. Look at that. More money coming in than you expected or some kind of bonus. Some some kind of uh, money that doesn't have to be paid back. And that is that Six of Pentacles. So it's a windfall energy. And it can also mean something turns out better than you'd hoped. And there's the action card. The Knight of Rods is telling you will be prompted when it's time to take action to, to either receive this or do what you're going to do with it. So beautiful energy there of May, getting, getting unexpected abundance coming in. Or maybe it is expected, but it's coming in that you don't have to pay it back. Hello. And June, we have, oh, two queens. So you've got three queens so far out and one king. We've got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Cups is your energy of let's make a change. Let's do something new. I'm ready to do it. I'm thinking about doing it. I'm making a list. I can see the timing is starting to come in because the storm is storm clouds are lifting and I can see the, the light through the clouds. So this is where you're right on the cusp of stepping over the threshold of change. And you are ready to do so. You're just... Making sure you che you have a list and you, you know, double check your little list. But this is how you're going to be able to really step into it. This is the Queen of Swords and she's going to ace it. This is where your knowledge comes in. This is where your capability to communicate what you have mastered here in this Eight of Pentacles. You're now able to really disclose it and really show your prowess in what you do for a living or, you know, who you're trying to communicate with is going to be very impressed with your abilities. So this is like acing the job interview. And if you have to speak, you know, in order to negotiate something, you're going to do very well either way. So just know that. Now, there's competition here, but the money's already set in motion. There might be a little bit of delay in, the, in receiving the money. It also could be a little resistance on your part as to whether or not you're even going to get it right? So sometimes we get in our heads too much. This is a very minor energy of, of a pain in the neck kind of energy. <laughs> a little side, little side, you know, stump your toe or something. This is the uh, five of wands, which is also can mean competition because whoever you're speaking to here, there may be other people trying to, to get that, right? And it looks like it's already been set in motion for you because you have the knight of pentacles here and he's the courier of the abundance and he's ready to bring it right to you. So we'll we'll just take that and say thank you, yes, please, and uh, be in the energy of receiving that as it comes in. So very fast moving energy on the night's part. And that's July, August. This is where you go, man, I think I'm doing way too much. <laughs> I've got too many irons in the fire. I can't keep going at this pace because, you know, this. I can't do another battle. Listen, the battle's over. There's, there's no battle going on there. The battle's over. So all you have to do is remain still. Hold, hold your position. Do not give up any ground. Do not retreat. Do not give up at all. Okay. And don't try to forge forward before it's time. You got to give yourself time to restore, recover from all the things you've been through here. And sometimes we're in this energy and we don't see anything happening. We get a little frustrated. 
you're going to get the the memo because here comes the judgment card. This is the announcement. It's a literally an announcement being trumpeted by Archangel Gabriel. So this means something being restored or resurrected, something you thought was over with, uh, not the battle part, but something you thought you had lost the opportunity at. And there it is. So we'll take that as it restores itself. And that's August. September has the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. So this really is a really good combination because the Magician is the energy of knowing that you have the capability to pull in divine light, pull it through to your heart, and then use that energy to manifest out what you're trying to create. Now, this card, the Nine of Pentacles, is a card of belief. And that means when you believe that you have the power to manifest your best possible life now, and you believe that the universe is also conspiring in your favor, and that it brings you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it every single time, these two cards combined are the ultimate, literally the perfect storm of manifestation because it comes in with your belief and your focus, your, your belief and your intention. So September ought to be really awesome. See what you can whip up in the quantum and, and make it so. Okay, so now we're going to move into October, which is the energy of the Hierophant, which is the Taurus Major Arcana. But it does mean either a government agency or entity, something official, something that has a large building or a large corporation. Um, this is the welcome mat being rolled out. And it sets you in a position where you feel like you're home free. Here's the Ten of Cups coming in. So you've got it here and again here. Six months later. Well, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six months later. I didn't even... <laughs> they, somebody said six months later. I went with it. So they were right. There's the energy of this beautiful, your best possible life now being in the divine connection of all things flowing beautifully. So yes and yes for October. And, and that's a beautiful confirmation. I mean, wow. And November. We have, oh, there's the knight. Knight of, knight of cup, uh, knight of cups. We got the two of cups and the knight of pentacles. We'll try that. So the knight of pentacles again, just like here. This is, this is where there was a little bit of a fracas going on, but the knight of pentacles was set in motion. And then you have more money coming in. Now these can be multiple streams of income. If you're someone who works with different clientele, these can be additional clients coming in, right? So this Knight of Pentacles puts you in the energy with this Two of Cups. Now, this is a divine partnership. Now, yes, it's soulmate energy. And yes, it can be higher self-ascension energy. But it's also divine partnership energy as in business partnership. So that means whoever you're working with, they're on the same thing you're on. And nobody's working against each other or working, you know, in two different directions. You're finally focused in the same exact frequency. So like-mindedness puts you in the energy of working together and really making the most of, of your efforts as you combined with someone else who is helping you. And last but not least, out of the blue, all of a sudden, like a lightning strike, a new doorway opens. That's the energy of stability and the energy of the future as you step through the doorway. It can also be some people who are in the energy of, you know, starting to be in a household together. It can also be a marriage because the old school meaning of the four of rods is the marriages in the cards. But it also means very good communication and working stability. So out of the blue, you get this reinforcement coming in or a divine idea that gives you that particular piece of the puzzle. So my Leos, this is an amazing reading with lots of money, lots of energy of stability and everything working in your favor. So this year, you should really be able to take that big stride 
forward and literally let the death card help clear out all that old stuff because it is nothing going to be able to hold you as long as you can let go of it and not keep it with you. So my darlings, I send you lots of love in this brand new year and I will see you soon. Namaste.